Minsky started warning about uh, the gradual transformation of the economy from a very robust financial system that um, was stable and um, which had no financial crises in the early post-war period beginning in the late 1950s. Um, and so he was 50 years ahead of his time. He um, uh, warned that what would happen is that gradually over time, uh, debts in the private sector would tend to build up, that um, increasingly risky financial um, innovations, they had already started to occur in the late 50s, and that those would increase over time, um, that stability itself is destabilizing. I mean, he's very famous for this. Uh, statement that although things appear very stable now, he's warning in the late 50s, gradually over time that stability will build confidence to take increasingly risky positions in assets. So that um, all of the New Deal structure that had been put in place in the economy um, during the Great Depression, uh, the tremendous buildup of government debt in World War II, which uh, we can talk more about this because Minsky's view on government deficits is very different from the mainstream view, that all of this debt um, gave a very safe asset for the financial sector and uh, for the uh, private sector, and that this would be in a sense leveraged. Um, safe government debt would um, serve as the basis for leveraging and increasing private sector debt. So that gradually over time, financial innovations, getting around the regulations of the New Deal would lead to a fragile financial structure, that we would start to see some financial crises, but because of the, what do you would say, the big government, that is a treasury that had become about 20% of GDP and the big bank, which is the Fed, which would intervene in any financial crisis, we would quickly get out of these crises. And so we really wouldn't learn much from the uh, smaller financial crises that we would have. We would quickly recover and we would resume our path toward increasing fragility. Um, and uh, in my view, uh, he was exactly correct. Um, he did, of course, um, extend his analysis, deepen the analysis, adjust it over time. He continually worked on this from the uh, 50s until 1996 when he died. Um, so he would take account of the new innovations and include those in his theories. Um, but uh, I think that the economy did follow this path, and we saw increasingly frequent and increasingly severe financial crises over the post-war period. The very first financial crisis was in 1966, and just as Minsky had predicted, we got out of it very quickly. It, there was really no recession or anything like that. Um, and then we had 1970, 1974, 1980, 1982, uh, 1987 stock market crash. Uh, 19, nine, around 1990, probably all the big banks in the United States were insolvent, um, and then on to the current crisis. So a lot of people say that this is a Minsky crisis. Uh, people have used the term the Minsky moment, and um, so lots of people are, have become aware of his analysis, but they're not, they're not really, I think, um, incorporating his analysis in their analysis of this um, uh, crisis because they're dating the beginning to 2002, 2004, something like that, whereas the, the beginning of this crisis is 1951. So it, this is a, it's a Minsky half century, it's not a Minsky moment.